Now we're getting ready to put together a three core toroid core here. Uh, we've used 52 mix, as you can see here, three of them. A little dab of super glue between each one of them and they will not come apart. It takes about two minutes to dry. <laughs> uh, we've got the wires set up here in the jig. I'll see if I can show you what I've done. A couple of pieces of uh, scrap wood here to protect the wire from the jaws of the vise. Um, this one, of course, will be your primary, the short one. I'm leaving a little bit extra here to uh, connect to the coax. And then this will be your secondary. And then we're going to twist these and we're going to use the drill. And I'll show you how I did that. Um, so here we have the drill, variable speed, and we simply insert these into the chuck. And uh, tighten it up the best we can. And I'm going to make a little adjustment here. I think that'll hold it. That looks pretty good. Take it loose. So, let's see. There you have it. The drill really does a nice job. Looks very good. You can see there where the drill, the drill made some flakes in the uh, enamel, but that won't matter. We'll just uh, got a little extra here just in case. So we are ready to wind. Well, I got the core wrapped and let's see here here we got the, uh, the primary which is two turns twisted and uh, we go seven turns this way cross you count the cross as turn number eight and then nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so with three cores we use uh, 13 turns instead of 14, like like we do on the uh, the two core and the one car core. As far as I know, uh, you're better off using 14 turns on the uh, on the two core. But on three cores, I have found that uh, 13 on the secondary gives me lower SWRs. And again, this is 52 type material. There's my grounds. I twisted them together there and soldered them. This is going to be my hot lead to the SO239 connector. Then this will go to the antenna. Really simple. Um, oh, the wire that I used was something I got on Amazon. And they seem to have the best price. I don't know if this is the best stuff you can get. It's rated for... Um, 155 degrees centigrade. Um, Temco 14 gauge. If you just go to Amazon and type in uh, magnet wire 14 gauge 14 GA, I believe you'll find a, a lot of different length choices. This happened to be 79 feet, and I have used quite a bit of it just experimenting here. 
So we're going to put it back in the box. This is my experimental model. There's my SO239 on the box. I've got a couple of vents that I found on the, uh, on the web. Uh, these are one inch vents. And I also have them, I can do this, on the front panel. This is the back of the front panel. So I've got three going across the top. And uh, this is my 100 picofarad capacitor. This one is a, uh, what they call a doorknob capacitor that I happen to have in my junk box. And so that's my ground lug. And um, we're soldering these copper tab things that I found in my junk box to the uh, SO239. So I'm going to put this in here like so and uh, that'll, uh, that'll complete the installation. Alright, we're all done. Got it back in the box. Got our ground lead here. We got the hot one back back in here. Capacitor goes from the hot center of the SO239 to our ground. And um, of course our antenna wire, we can see it. Goes straight up. And we got a, a tooth washer there under the head of that screw to help make contact with it. Got all quarter inch um, hardware, one quarter inch. It's just easier for me. It's uh, it's nice and big, and uh, everybody's got a quarter inch drill, and uh, you can make real good connections to it. Uh, always use stainless steel. Uh, Home Depot and Lowe's both have stainless steel hardware. Plenty of assortments, so it's easy to get, and it doesn't cost much. Well, it's a couple of bucks. Any, anything else you use, galvanized or whatever, just after a few days it'll start to uh, corrode and rust. So definitely go with the stainless steel. Now these cores, as I said, they are 52 mix, 240. The um, ferrite, um, the ferrite number, um, I have it over here on my computer screen. I can show you. And this is where I place the order with uh, arrow. And these are uh, these people are pretty neat. Um, there's the ferrite number, five nine five two zero zero three eight zero one. I ordered three of them. They were eleven dollars and ninety two point eight cents a piece. So there's your total for three cores. And again, this is Aero Electronics, and um, shipping is free, uh, and it is overnight FedEx. How can you beat that? So they got the lowest price on the cores and the fastest shipping and all that. So that's the that's the way to go.